Hey, Joas, how you doing? Joas, is that right? Or is it pronounced it with an H? Was. Joas. 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 Trying to get it right. Anyway, uh, we'll hang around here for a while. Um, what I what I hope to do today, oh, uh, Joas, uh, tell me, is the sound okay? Can you hear it all right? And how about the picture? Is the picture okay? Tap, tap. <laughs> hey, GMT Master, how you doing? So if it's morning where you are, GMT Master, you must be, let's see. Oh, good. Everything's good. Everything's okay. Great. <laughs> Okay, uh, are you in the U.S. Uh, GMT Master also? Are you in England or where do you where do the GMT Masters hang out? Oh, Toronto. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> we're boy. You guys are a little earlier than we are, right? Oh, from London. All right. There's a, <laughs> yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Well, listen, guys. Um, here's what I here's what I wanted to talk about today, if we could. Um, I decided to start working on my um, my residence project, and let me. Let me explain what I'm doing and what the project is. Uh, this is right here, right here. Are this is sort of the side that has you know that you can have that you have the balance wheel on, and this is the winding gear, and uh, this is the um, the barrel. Uh, here you have the. Uh, pinion for the uh, second and hour, I mean the minute and hour, and this is a small second. So this is a typical 6498 arrangement. Uh, and this is a, I think it's a, a Siegel ST36. Okay. Now, uh, what I did was that uh, because of the pinions here and the pinions here, you, you can't lay it flat uh, because it the pinions will rock it to one side or the other. And so I got my favorite um, watchmaking tool, <laughs> a popsicle stick. And um, it, it, it's not very big, but I mean, it, I mean, it's not very thick, but it's thick enough to lift the, um, the movement off of the pinions. And the reason I wanted to do that, I didn't want to have anything in the way of the... Um, right here of the of the balance wheel and the the idea is is to get the two uh different movements uh close together hi blaine hi wadi wadi uh <laughs> you doing? from australia uh cool taiwan hi chris yeah this is how come i like to have the uh, the morning one too because a lot of you guys uh, in Asia and um, Oceania and sort of the other side of the world, and uh, it's not too bad for you. I know it may be late in some places, and um, uh, some the ones in the afternoon, it's tomorrow. So I got to you know, out in New Zealand and uh, some places like that. Okay, it's already e uh, evening in the eastern part of Australia. Yeah, they, this is what. Uh, somebody told me, I forgot where it was, I, maybe it was China, but they said there's a 12 hours difference. And so if it's eight o'clock in the morning here, it's eight o'clock in the evening there. Now there's, we have daylight saving times and whether that affects you or not, it, it's hard to know. But anyway, so I thought, well, you know, uh, let's go stepping through a project in, in it. Yeah, I guess it can be any project. I decided that even Abraham... <laughs> Louis Breguet began with popsicle sticks. And, and this is just sort of to, to get an idea. I took a picture of both of them together, okay? And they're the, 
the two pinions run through this part. And so I wanted to be sure to have the popsicle sticks on either side of the pinions uh, for both of them. And in that way, then I could, I could put the um, balance wheels as close as possible together. Now, my, my hunch is in, in looking at this, they're not close enough. And so I'm, what I'm probably going to have to do, and boy, do I do not want to do this, but I'm probably going to have to uh, take a Dremel tool or some kind of little tool and cut away uh, right next to the balance, which is <laughs> not something I, I would care to do. Now, if I were a lot more talented, uh, I could, what I could do is take it apart and then just take that uh, plate and then uh, grind enough out of there so that the uh, the two balance wheels can get close enough for resonance. Now, I haven't even tried this yet to see. Uh, maybe it works in this um, juxtaposition. And But, you know, before I make a, a sort of a, a gizmo, uh, what I want to do is try it out. And so I just started uh, pulling things together this morning. And uh, maybe by this afternoon, I'll be able to have a slow motion video and to find out whether or not it's uh, close enough for resonance. And if it's not, better <laughs> better call Amazon for, or a, uh, a Dremel tool, which is a good thing for uh, watch, even pretentious watchmakers to have. Oh, by the way, too, uh, I, I put on my um, Harboring 2 Felix uh, with the A11 movement. This this watch is the most accurate watch I have. It's a totally mechanical. Just it just runs perfectly. I and I've had it. I don't know a few years now, but uh, you know these. The thing I like about these are not terribly expensive. They're uh, they're handmade. They're all in house by um, <laughs> Richard and uh, Marie uh, Harboring. I think in their dog spot. I don't know. They have a very. They only make a few hundred a year, so it's sort of fun to have. Hi, Abdul. How you doing? Uh, so anyway, so this is my one of my shut away uh, projects, and uh, what I'd like to do is sort of ask you guys if you have uh, two things. One, if you have any, oh, I'll call it shut away quarantine kind of project you're working on, um, or any advice you have for cutting back on the um, on the plates? I mean, using there's a little grinding tool that has a it looks like a little pyramid, a little rounded pyramid shaped thing. I forgot what the uh, geometrical phase is for it. And then I was saying just cutting into the metal a little at a time and using my blower to keep uh, keep dust away. I don't know. I anyway. Any ideas? Hi Fahrenheit. Uh, you have a Dremel, not a Dewalt. I don't have either one uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, you got any suggestions on that? Um, a Dremel tool is sort of a almost an, a um, generic term for any uh, you know any such little bitty tool like that. I'm you know so I I don't uh, <laughs> I don't have one. I may have had one at one time and lost it in a move or something. I'm not sure. How much material do you need to remove? Good, good question. Um, I don't know if I have to remove any right now. Here's what I did. Okay. Here's uh, one of the um, balances, and here's the other one. And they're pretty close together but I don't know if they're close enough to achieve resonance. And um, like I said, by, you know, uh, later today, I'll see if I can get, uh, I'll do some, I'll work with them and maybe by this afternoon, uh, how much material blank. Yeah. Uh, so you can, you know, as well as I do about how much I'm going to have to saw away. Let me bring one of these guys up here. I have them on my toothpicks right now. And, Okay, see the lip between the side of the um, of the movement and the um, the uh, copper colored uh, balance wheel. It's 
I have to remove some, I think, but I don't know, and I don't know how much. So it, it's, um, you know, it, it's one of those things. Hey, Logan Hall, how you doing? I uh, used to watch your channel regularly. Fell off the wagon a bit. <laughs> or fell on the wagon. <laughs> Decided to come back. Great to see you, Logan. Um, so anyway, uh, Logan, do you have any ideas for, you know, sort of doing some metal cutting? What kind of grinder uh, head to use or something like that to cut back a plate somewhat so I can I can get my um, so I can get the uh, the two movements into uh, residence of some sort. Okay, now I messed up my popsicle sticks. I'm gonna have to make something a little more uh, permanent <laughs> to my popsicle stick. I'm on, I'm the completely wrong the person to ask about that. That's okay. So am I, but I go ahead and do it anyway. <laughs> Hey, Mark. Oh, good, Mark. Uh, probably a little early for you, I think. Um, so, um, anyway, any ideas about that? Let me ask you about something else. Um, I've been, you know, a lot of people uh, have been contacting me about, about a, a video that was done by uh, this, uh, this young woman. Who's uh, who? Who I really like because she pronounces everything correctly that I can't. And she was talking about watches, and she was going on. It was she did a thing on Jaja Lacoutre, and um, it was sort of a you know people ask her, "What did you think about that? What did you think about that?" Hey, you know, I'll, I'll tell you guys. You tell me first what you think about it. James T. Roger Smith would spend three months doing it with a wooden stick. <laughs> You're right. Didn't I tell you all great projects begin with popsicle sticks? <laughs> uh, oh, you sound like a West Coast guy, Mark. Is that right? I'm a West Coast guy from way back. Uh, in fact, three or four generations. But uh, I'm out on a, I'm a I'm a Connecticut uh, country mouse now. <laughs> I live in the sticks in the country. Um, anyhow, so any, any ideas, I, I, I would have to really work a lot to get my popsicle sticks working so I could do it as good as, uh, uh, Roger Smith. Okay. Well, that, that's one thing. Uh, now let's go back. Does anybody, uh, Washington state, ah, oh, okay. Washington. Well, we both headed for the coast, but I started there, sort of, <laughs> inland California. Um, okay, uh, so let's uh, bu -bu -bu -bu, uh, let's talk about. Did, did, does anybody know the uh, video that I'm talking about? It's the production values of it are excellent. Uh, this gal gets up there and she thump, 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 and she does all of this other stuff, and it's talking about. Um, God, I'll probably say it wrong. She pronounces everything so perfectly, um, including English. <laughs> That's not her native language. And um, so she does a good job on that. But it, some people are saying, well, she doesn't know anything about watches. And after watching her, she knows something. But <laughs> I don't know. Any, any opinions on that? Or do you know what I'm talking about? If not, we'll go on to something else. Anyone? Hello, it's it's either late or, or real early. Mark's the only one with a good excuse. <laughs> he's, he's up early. Uh, here in Connecticut, anyone who gets up that early and is of a certain age uh, can go uh, can go out and uh, uh, do that. A rotary grinder would be quickest, but it's best to have a steady hand. Also, something in which to secure the movement while working on it. Yeah, that that is the um, that's the other thing. I have a a couple of uh, vices, quite a few. I I, I have uh, some uh, case vices, but they're in fact well. They're, I have one case vice, 
And it's, you know, things will pop out of that pretty quickly. So I'm going to have to, that's another thing I'm going to have to do is figure out to get some kind of securing device. Uh, I have a regular vice. And what I may do is, uh, you know, wrap the, um, you know, put some uh, cushioning around the, the uh, movement and then put it in the vice and then go down. Oh, but it really worries me. She's reading from a script. Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> well, if I was reading from a script, I'd mispronounce things anyway. I'm consistent. Um, he, here was the thing. I, I, I guess that was um, it was brought up. She was going on, and she was talking about people knowing the different uh, types of models that uh rolex had so, uh, said okay let's see how many how, how many uh uh rolex uh models you can name and so everybody wrote down all, i guess i don't know i thought them in their head um and so they have a sub and a uh mill gus and an explorer and this and that and on. so now do the same thing for uh jlc uh for jaja lacoutre um yeah, Mark. I was, and, and I thought, what does that prove? What if I ask her, what are the two types of uh, models that uh, Philippe Dufour has? Um, uh, you know, uh, or wh which, uh, how about Roger Smith? Or how about F.P. Jorn? Or how about uh, Kerry Wooten Lannan? Uh, how about the uh, Gronfeld uh, brothers? Now, how many of those do you know? Probably none. But that doesn't mean that one watch is superior to another because people are more familiar with the models. And I thought that's a more of a gimmick than it is, you know, really kind to get through this stuff. If she was talking about marketing or sales, that would be different. But she wasn't. She's talking, well, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, uh, Mark is kind of you. Uh, less than stellar. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I tell you. She's she's very charming. Um, she is, apparently she does a lot of work on those things because you can see all of the editing cuts in it. She's going along and bump, 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 bump. and you know she's fun to listen to and it, it's like I said it's it's a good production. Nothing nothing wrong with that. And it's it's like you know people complain about Archie. Uh, well, she has nothing along those lines to complain about. I mean, she really does a lot of work on it. And for that, I, that I respect. But, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, never mind. Anyway, like, I've been asked a lot about that. I, and, and I didn't think much about it when I first saw it. I thought, wow, this is sort of a nice one. Uh, so I like her. I like her presentation and so on and so forth. She might work on the, the tech side of it. Uh, this, uh, Blaine, okay, this company may be able to provide you with some ideas. Micro Mark, the small tools specialist. I'm a skill modeler and don't know a thing about watchmaking. That's okay. Um, that is very much okay. Uh, thanks, Blaine. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll look them up. You know, right now, what I'm sort of planning on doing is that um, I ordered a few things from... Um, Amazon, and they're still delivering uh, pretty well. So I thought, well, I'll try that. Uh, hi, Brian. How you doing? Good morning to you, too. Uh, she claims that JLC has a brand identity crisis. Most people who like that JLC uh, flies under the radar. I don't, <laughs> maybe she, how would she know? Did she do a survey or this or that? Or you know, she just has that little gimmick that she does. I don't know. I, I mean, if that's what she's talking about, a brand identity crisis, I don't know. I I, I happen to like JLC, um, and I, my wife has this reverse, so that's never had a problem with it, not one. And she's had it for a number of years now. So I don't know. Uh, Ginny Ellie, yeah, that's uh, Joyce. That's uh, that's who it is. Uh, and like I said, she's very nice uh, and and really works on her production. I don't know if I was thinking. Um, 
Hey, uh, let's see. Yeah, Brian and uh, Krasimir. Kres, yeah, and, and like I said, I, I'm not saying anything bad about her. I'm just saying that, you know, it's sort of like to try to identify uh, how, you know, what is it you're talking about? I'm really not talking about, you know, what the quality of the watches or anything like that, and but rather talking about something else. And somebody popped up with saying, Oh, they got a, a QC. Zeta uh, Lakuta uh, has a, a QC problem, and yeah, it's it's okay to spell out quality control. But he was acting like, oh, I I I know this kind of stuff. I'll call it a QC. Who said they had a QC problem? <laughs> I never heard that before. You know, it, it's these kinds of statements that drive me nuts. People will say things like that. They have no basis for it, but they'll just say it because they feel like saying it, or they think it makes them sound smart. Not to me, it doesn't. <laughs> it was like, boy, this, you know, I don't know. Uh, I, of course, here I am. You know, I'm the great expert trying to make a resonance with popsicle sticks. <laughs> I'm not a person. I'm not, you know, who's who's going to. I'm not going to throw any rocks in my glass house. Hey, geezer, how's it going? Uh, yeah, uh, Logan knows that uh, Dorm uh, Metter series. See, this is another thing I can't pronounce it right, but I like that. I know, I know the uh, uh, Logan. I, I know the uh, the model you're talking about. I like it a lot too. Uh, do all brands want to attain brand recognition level of Rolex? Maybe, maybe not. Well, you know, it, it's it's a funny kind of thing. Um, <sighs> I guess you have to have some brand recognition to sell, okay? But how do you want to do it? Who is your audience? Uh, I think a big mistake would be if somebody like, um, let's say, H. Moser tried to copy uh, the way in which Rolex or Patek Philippe, two very well-known brands, you know, their kind of advertisement, and they don't. H. Moser's got a very unique one. Half the time, he gets them in trouble. <laughs> That's why I like them. But it, that is that I think is is something that would be an, an interesting topic. And anyway, did you eat the popsicle first, Brian? <laughs> Brian wants a face. Of course, I did. What do you think I am, a savage? <laughs> During this isolation, I don't throw anything away. <laughs> we got, we go. Yesterday, we went to the grocery store. We got two weeks worth of stuff, so we got a pile of apples and and fruit and bananas and all kinds of things. And uh, you know, but there's nothing goes to waste, including popsicles. <laughs> uh, dual meters are gorgeous. Yeah, no, I agree. Those are, I mean. See, the thing about Zaza Lakutra that I like is that they've got some doing some very interesting horological things. And I can't say that for every brand. Uh, <laughs> they're doing the same thing, but not that interesting. Um, to me, the most interesting thing that, um, that Rolex has done, I really like their Yacht Master 2 device that they made for the countdown or a, a sort of like a regatta countdown but otherwise you know we're just sort of going along <laughs> I, I have nothing against that uh let's see uh the one thing that i don't care for about brightling their brand ambassadors yeah you know I, this is something I, I i feel the same way even though they include a lot of people I really like. You know, I was looking at the the they have a I think it's Brightland. I'm not sure, but I think so. They had a, a different crew for different kinds of things. One was sort of a sport crew, and one was a dress crew. And these guys are you know they're they're very popular actors. But my God, I've seen some of these collections that they have, and like. Ah. Not, not exactly <laughs> the most encouraging one. Um, if what I would do, uh, there was a thing I was dealing with. This is weird, but years ago, uh, there was an actress. What's her name? She was a really popular actress at one time. Um, 
Ah, can't think of her name. But anyway, uh, this friend of mine was into, he, he grew avocados. And he was part of a group of avocado growers. And um, so they went to her and asked her if she'd be a spokesperson for their avocados. And um, she said, well, uh, let me check with my attorneys. And so the attorney would find out whether they were avocados <laughs> instead of, I guess, green tennis balls or something like that. And so she went through all of their stuff. And I was wondering, you know, if one of these actors said, hey, do you, does uh, Breitling tell the truth about all of its movements? Does it really tell you what they are? Or do they have some caliber that... Uh, sort of says that they're in-house when in fact their ETAs are Salidas. That's what, you know, that's what I would do, but uh, no one's going to ask me, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, Lady Gaga is too the ambassador. Lady Gaga is somebody else I like too. I, I like a lot of these people, but there's, you know, what do they know about watches? Um, some actors, I think there's a, one of the members of the band Kiss uh, who's, who's still alive, who's a really seriously good watch collector. And, you know, somebody like that, but, you know, they, that's someone I think, I, I think would be someone I'd listen to. Hi, Adrian, how you doing? Flippin' Zippo, morning to you. Um, they are doing interesting things and they do it very well. They innovate a lot compared to many, uh, more recognized brands. Yeah, Mark. I agree with that. Uh, JLC, yeah, right. That's who I thought you were. Uh, let's see. Uh, Elizabeth Taylor. No. Nah. What's your name? I, I can't think of her name. Elizabeth Taylor would be hard to forget, even for me. <laughs> hey, watch Abbott. How you doing? <laughs> uh, let's see. Abdul, I think the future we will see some internet uh, trendsetters that brands wish to push. I think you're right, Abdul. I think you're absolutely right. There's, you know, I can, this has always been done. Uh, this is nothing new for advertisement. They'll have someone who doesn't know a thing about the product and out there saying, this is really nice, you know, and everybody is looking at some other feature of the presenter other than his or her brilliance. I don't know. People believe a lot of different stuff. Um, if you're talking about popular watches, uh, you need to mention Daniel Wellington. I do? <laughs> okay. Why do I have to mention Daniel Wellington? Hey, Sudo. <laughs> Some do a lot of work. Okay. Um, would love to see J uh, Jay Lopez uh, as a counterstatement. Oh, as a counter, as a counter statement to uh, uh, Jenny Ellie's. Okay, I don't know how to tell you, but I recently bought a watch with a Tudor movement. So what? Uh, Tudor Tudor makes uh, you know nice movements. There's nothing wrong with them that I can see. Um, Alton Brown at Food Network is a real collector. Yeah, there are some you know some really serious collectors, guys who really love horology. Um, and, you know, I think, well, you know, if, hum, uh, if Humphrey Bogart <laughs> had a watch and said, this is a good watch, I'd probably buy it. But other than that, I don't know. <laughs> some of, some of the old movies, they have these old square Hamiltons. Those are sort of cool. Um, Breitling Super Ocean Heritage. It's a Breitling. Okay. I... <laughs> Doesn't matter which brand, I'll buy one. Okay. <laughs> At Food Network. Yeah, I mean, you know, now, see, the thing, this is what, this is why I get mad at, at brands like Breitling and IWC. They have some of their own movements, some of which are really excellent. And then they put in this other stuff and don't tell people about it. That, to me, really hurts their image. So that's how come I get upset about it. You guys ought to be telling the truth to everybody, especially us. We're the ones that buy the thing. Okay, ID Guy uh, does a very nice job on his reviews. Oh, there are a lot of good reviewers, super reviewers. Uh, Watches TV Guy is my favorite, but I can't understand him because he pronounces everything right. <laughs> so I have a hard time understanding. You got to take a look at his collection. He had 
one day he brought out his collection. A very he and I have similar tastes. That's why I like him. Now, if he had a bunch of Breitlings and IWCs and said, aren't these wonderful? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about them. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm a bad influence. Yeah, I've been a number of guys have told me their wife said Bill's a bad influence. <laughs> so maybe that's who I am. <laughs> Hi Hans, how you doing? Uh Tudor BB Chrono. Uh they use a Breitling B01. Yeah. Um the there's a really interesting story about how um Breitling is using one that was developed primarily by Tudor, and Tudor is using one that was developed primarily by Breitling, both of which are good movements. I, I but they both of them heads on it. Well, it's uh, well, what kind of movement is that? Well, it's, it's <laughs> which to me is sort of come on, guys, all of us know, and the people who could care less about it, you could call it a you know, a hamster and a running wheel. And they wouldn't care because they don't care about those things. We care about it. So we spend some time learning about it. And then you end up looking like a liar. So isn't it better just to tell the truth? People who don't care. They say, well, the ones who do care say, hey, this is an honest guy. If I buy this watch, it has X, Y, and Z movement. If it's got this one, it's got a Salida or an ETA or one that I, you know, don't particularly want or I do want. And they charge a lot less for it. Hey, Wish, Wishwater, if you started your own wristwatch company with the aim of making the best watch in the world and something which hasn't been done for, uh, what would what would it look like? It would look like uh, Philippe Dufour Singularity. That's what it would look like. Um, it would have a nice big balance wheel, great uh, on Uh it would have a hour hand and a minute hand, and that's it. Uh, but it would really be good, I think. Okay, let's see. Um, you ever worn a NATO? Yeah, I have. Uh, I don't particularly like them, uh, Hans. They, a NATO goes underneath. In fact, I had one on this one at one time, I think. A NATO goes underneath here, and it's it's not too comfortable. Um, I And then... Boy, I got I got some NATO, fairly authoritarian NATO types, and what I had done, uh, I had cut off the tip of the thing because it was sticking way out here, and then took a actually I took a um, a one pound metal one pound one and took a match and burned it around it and cut it or something so it had a. Uh, they said, oh, you can't do that. You're supposed to wrap them up. And they gave me the whole thing about how you wrap them up. And I don't know. I'm, I'm just not a NATO fan. I don't have anything against them. Some are coming. Uh, you, you're, you know, you don't want to wear out your good gator bands or your leather bands. Yeah, they'd be great. So Super Ocean Heritage is Breitling's first watch with free sprung balance. Hmm. Okay, Blaine. Yeah. See, this is the thing. They can they can do some good stuff. They really can, and they do. But then they the whole thing is offset by this other stuff that's not junk, but it's not truthful. And that's I guess that's sort of the crazy thing. Okay. Um, Perlone is my thing. Pearl. Okay. Perling. Yeah. Uh, Perlaws. Who makes an affordable movement with an oversized balance wheel excluding his 64.97 or 64.98? Other than other than those two, I don't know. That is a great question, though. I'd, I'd really like to find out. I have a feeling there's some by Lamania, some old Lamanias, I think. So that that might be, but that would be a good thing to find out. Uh, Mark, I really, that's a great question. I have no idea what it is. Okay. Well, guys, listen, uh, my time is up by a lot. Uh, Clyde, I'm sorry uh, you missed it. Clyde, if, you, if you've if you got something going later on, uh, let me know ahead of time, okay? And, um, but I got to jump. So, Junior, hi. <laughs> Where you been, Junior? Okay. Well, listen, guys. Um, 
I'll be back this afternoon. And uh, if Clyde, if you're going to have something, let me know ahead of time, Clyde, and I'll try to, and I'll try to make trouble for you. <laughs> take, take care. <laughs>